Well, from my point of view, the group started with Brian, really, in that um, he was the first one I met. And he had put an advert in the Jazz News saying that he wanted to start an R&B group. And he was trying to get a group together in a pub in Lyle Street. And uh, there was only him and a couple of other guys. He didn't like the piano player he'd got, so I just started playing piano and we went through different people. But then this was at a time when the thing in Ealing was starting and the marquee thing with Alexis was starting. And, of course, Brian knew Alexis, and so therefore he got to know Mick and, and Charlie. So what eventually we did, we had this group with Mick and Keith, and they brought Dick Taylor and Brian, and then it just used to be a case of any, any drummer we could find. But we didn't really play in public at all. In fact, we sometimes went weeks without playing, because, you know, it didn't seem to be getting anywhere, and Brian would get pissed off with it and vanish. So, eventually we sort of thought about starting clubs ourselves, you know, in pubs, the way the jazz clubs were at the time. And so we had one here in Sutton. And we didn't really get Charlie with us permanently for a long time because he was playing with another group that was making money and Charlie needed the money, so we just had to... We must have used about eight or nine different drummers. <laughs> 